today the podcast is focused on an app called Butera. It's new to me and I think it's reasonably new to the market and it's focused on booking but not just booking as a client whether it be beauty, makeup, hair, even tattoos. This is about booking as a therapist or as a salon if you're looking for clients, maybe for demonstrations or shows. So this app really does work in multiple ways. I'm speaking with the creator, Natalie, and also with Andrina, who is a consultant. What we talk about is why the app came to be, why it's so important in today's industry that as someone who's running a business, you can have an app that deals with bookings, it deals with taking times, it deals with modifications, with questions, with feedback. And also as a client, all the different reasons why it can be really convenient to have an app that deals with multiple ways that you can get in touch with the creatives and the industry experts that create the treatments and perform the treatments in your area that you're looking for. I found it very interesting to see how the app came about and where it's going and I hope you understand and enjoy why it might be beneficial for us to all take a look at the Butera app. So Natalie, thank you so much for coming on to the podcast. I'd love for us to get started with you telling me about your app and exactly why you decided to create it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hey, thank you for this opportunity. We are really excited to share our thoughts and what we want to do with our app. So uh, if we're talking in general, Butera is a comprehensive platform designed for independent beauty artists and beauty sounds in near future. Yes, not but now, but we are working on this. And... um, you can think about it like a digital planet where beauty experts can streamline their booking process uh, or, for example, find models to uh, practice their skills or participate in competitions and meet their other uh, future needs. And from the other hand, if you're a client, uh, Butera is a platform where you can discover a highly skilled beauty artist or receive beauty services at a discounted rate or for free. Yeah. Uh, by participating it's as a model for example yeah it's a great name Butera I think that it tells you exactly what you need to know but it's also got that really modern edge and it's an easy name to remember too I like that um mm-hmm. what I also thought was really interesting about the app is it's not just one thing it's doing things on so many different levels has that always been the case or did you discover that the people that were using it wanted more? Did it develop as it went along? Yeah, here's like great question because at the beginning, Butera was, you know, just a platform where a beauty artist can connect with uh, nice clients and clients can find independent beauty artists. Um, but then we started to dip more and more, going deeper. Uh, and we understand that, we understood that um beauty artists have really many needs that we need to solve Mm -hmm. and uh for now yeah it's a real big platform that we want to improve more and when we understood this we knew that we uh, we need um super nice and skilled beauty advisor who can help us to improve our platform and make it as much um, useful for beauty experts as we can. Yeah. And at that moment, yeah, Andrea Official joined our team. Yay! (laughs) And uh, very skilled as well. So, Andrea, where did you find that you fitted in? Were you able to guide the company with what people were looking for and their skills, what they were looking for also in models? Yeah, I mean, because uh, before I was doing my bookings by myself. Uh-huh. And uh, since Natalie uh, presented me this opportunity with uh, Butera, I just find that I was like, just, okay, just try it. Because, like, I tried different other companies. And to be honest, I didn't really like the approach or the, the app itself because it was a bit too hard to use. Yeah. 
but with Botera, it's quite easy to use. It's like really you like friendly for customers and artists as well to use. Oh, that... And the, the fact that you can you can find everything in one place, mm -hmm. it's even, it's even easier. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think what you say makes perfect sense because we all know in the beauty industry there can be so many different hats that you have to juggle and you have to make sure that you don't forget to do something or you don't forget to book something. So does the Butera app really help both the therapist or the beautician or the nail tech? Does it help them and the customer simultaneously? Yes, yes, I can tell you that. Like for me, it really, really worked because... We're texting with customers back and forth to find a good day when to book them in. It's like 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 this with Botera, it's much easier. They just go on, on the app, they find the time that it's suitable for them, the service that they want to book, and that's it. I just need to approve it and it's it makes it easier. In case if something has to be changed in the booking or if they don't know any, something and they want to ask me, they can always text me through the app, which makes it even more better. That's so convenient. And who would you say is the typical user of the app? So first of all, let's talk about the typical industry professional. Is it across the board? Is it makeup artists, nail techs, massage therapists? Is it everyone? Or does it seem to be more one industry than others at the moment? I mean, Butera is open for everyone. Uh -huh. For everyone in the beauty industry, like hairdressers, oh, makeup yeah. artists, even tattoo artists can join because it, it's just like, it's a big family. <laughs> it's still yeah. the beauty industry. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, in general, our like, Cross target audience, it's all beauty experts. It doesn't matter if it's an independent beauty artist or it's a beauty artist who works in a beauty salon. Uh, it's people who really like things that they do mm -hmm. and want, like, you know, streamline their booking process or they want to find, for example, models for their classes or for comp competitions. And um, yeah, if we're talking about beauty salons, uh, about what we're thinking now. Um, it's bigger business, but who want you know to improve their uh, beauty experience. And of course, from other side, we have um, our second target audience. It's clients who want to have like good uh, quality services, beauty services, and uh, who want to you know try different um, beauty artists. Uh, participant as a model or for example just like normal booking that's excellent so you've made it as convenient as possible um is there an age group at the moment on the client side that tends to be using it more i mean from my point of view it always tends to be um the people that are a bit younger and more comfortable with technology that get into it first and then they'll show maybe like their mums and their older friends they'll show them how to use it and then eventually they'll realize that it's much more convenient is that what you found i think this question is better for me <laughs> to yeah. be honest yeah and like uh, i had already my clientele and when i told them about um Bertera and moving them all on the app they didn't mind yeah and my clientele is from 20 till 60 excellent years old so they don't mind because it's quite user friendly and easy. Mm -hmm. You don't have many many fields to to fill in before you register. You don't have a lot of like questions or you know a lot of things that doesn't make sense that you need to do before yes registering with an app. So yeah. it makes it much easier for everybody, even if you're like sixteen or sixty five. Perfect. And Natalie, I'm guessing that with everyone when whenever we start a new business the key thing that a lot of people that are already in business will say is what's different about you why does your business stand out and if you're pitching for business you've got to explain what makes you unique so you've already gave me a really good insight about what's unique about Butera what do you think makes you stand out from anyone else that might have a similar 
not exactly the same app, but maybe like a booking app, which we know is a lot more simplistic than this. What really makes you stand out? So for the beginning, yeah, we thought about this like just booking platform, but then we understood that, you know, it's not only about booking, because especially for independent beauty artists who work not only in sound, they have much many more needs. Mm -hmm. You need to like, you know, have good Instagram skills, you need to provide services, you need to think about rent and other things. And another side, we didn't want to make it like just a business, you know, of course it's important, but when you're talking about beauty, it's kind of art, especially when you, you know, select your beauty artist, it's like your long-term friend that you like, you know, uh, meet every three, yeah. four weeks. And it's really important to make the platform cozy and friendly when one side, for example, clients, can meet really nice beauty artists, talk to each other and understand do they want uh, to work with each other or no. Mm -hmm. And from other side, we, as I mentioned, we don't want to make it like only about booking. We want to cover all needs for beauty artists. I mean, that if you need models, you can find models. If you want to uh, find a new colleague with who you want to rent, yeah. uh, place, you can do it in our app. So. Oh, and uh, one more thing why this, uh, why Biotera stands out is because on other platforms, you can't really give uh, feedback on the customer. Oh, yeah. Which on Biotera, you can give a feedback on the customer as well. Like, yeah. I know customers give feedbacks because I'm a customer myself for other services, right? So I give feedbacks, but the the beautician, the technician, they, they never give a feedback back. Yeah. So on Bertera, they can give a feedback about the customer as well. I like that. Because Andrina, I think that's a really good point. It's such a, a warm and welcoming and friendly industry. But occasionally, yeah. you don't get the chance to tell someone in writing how good they are or how valued they are. And yeah. hopefully it doesn't happen too often. But I suppose the good thing is there'll be a bit of a safety and security element that if someone is consistently letting people down, you might not make it public, but I'm guessing that the app might be able to flag if someone is maybe consistently not turning up or maybe, okay. yeah, there's an issue there. But without making it a, a negative thing, the app might just be able to flag something up if someone's not being very reliable. Yeah, which makes it even more better for beauticians because they will know about that customer before booking in yes and again in the nicest possible way um, I think that's a, a good idea that you're able to cover pr the predominantly great things about the industry but occasionally we do get areas and I think one of the big areas is um, people not showing up <laughs> that's probably the biggest one so that's great that you're able to identify that um, Natalie, where do you see the app going? Because it feels as if it's limitless. It's, it's so many possibilities. Yeah, we, we think about this a lot. I mean, that we can't, you know, uh, implement all features at one moment. But our main goal is uh, to make Butera as a comprehensive platform. Mm -hmm. uh, which we paid for the cause, you know, our digital beauty planet. Uh, and yeah, how we create this name. We have collected a significant list of user needs and have an additional list of our own ideas that we think can help beauty experts. Um, for example, for instance, a couple of days ago, we tested the feature for finding models for one of our talent, uh, fantastic lush artists. And it wasn't like, you know, easy, uh, but we did it. And now we want to integrate this it like for our platform for all beauty experts so they can find models if they need. And we're also working on additional features for beauty sounds because we have we had you know some requests for some of them. Mm -hmm. Because it's not all uh, the whole list. Uh, unfortunately, we can't you know talk about all features for now because it's our small secret. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, 
in general, yeah, as I mentioned, we want to make the platform where uh, each beauty expert uh, can find everything that they uh, they want, and you know, solve all problems uh, in their beauty business. Sounds great. And also, what would you say has been the best feedback that you've had? Um, I can guess when you when you start any business. As soon as you start getting good feedback that lets you know that you've actually created the right thing and it's working, makes you feel so good. So does any feedback stand out, maybe even with Andrina, um, when someone said to you, what you have created, it it's definitely working? Uh, yeah, I can tell that for my customers, they are really pleased about the, the app. And I ask them all the time what, what they think about the app and I only get like good feedbacks so that's really that's really great to be honest it, it, make, it makes it much easier yeah it's just it's so good when you know that something that you've implemented into your work and we are you do always take a little gamble when you're starting anything new even when you bring a new treatment in um, you're, you're taking a gamble, a new product range. You're hoping that people will like it. So when you do something and then it starts to pay off, it feels so good because your gut instinct was correct. Um, yeah. Natalie, where do you see the app being used globally? Is it already worldwide or is it very much about nurturing it in different countries first? So for the beginning, we start from UK, uh -huh. especially. Yeah, um, from London, we have some beauty artists and we have some clients in Manchester and Liverpool. Um, but for now, we want, you know, to um, increase our target audience uh, in UK, understand that everything, work, uh, everything works good, we don't have any problems and we can cover all problems and needs for beauty artists. And then, yeah, we definitely want to make it globally. Uh, you can register now, even if you are in different country or in different city. Uh, the only one problem is that uh, if you are a client and register, for example, in France, you probably will not have for now beauty artists who are in France because we yeah. would go, <laughs> we didn't go here. But yeah, we would definitely want to do it in future. That makes sense because you've got the twofold element. You'll be bringing in the clients, but you'll also be bringing in the businesses. So that must take a little bit of time. I totally understand that. And I also, I wonder how useful social media is or is it something again that will build alongside the app or does social media such as Instagram and TikTok, is that anything that benefits the promotion of the app or is that something that would again come down the line you know of course you we use instagram tiktok and other platforms for promote our app for fine beauty artists for fine new clients but in general we we don't see, we don't think that um you know instagram or tiktok is our like competitor because it's two different platforms yeah is it somewhere rather than being a competitor is it somewhere that you know sometimes in the beauty industry makeup hair even tattoos that was a great point that you said about tattoos a lot of times people use it as an advertising platform is it a platform that would work for advertising butera or is is it too niche what you do to actually translate it into advertising on places like tiktok and instagram are they too different no, I think it. I think it works on on promoting it on social media as well, from my point of view. Because since um, I've registered with Batera, since Natalie presented to me, yeah, I've added on my bio on my Instagram. I mean, I have over eight thousand followers. I'm trying to reach ten thousand. <laughs> uh, but since since I added the link on my bio, it makes it much easier. I got a, a lot of new customers which they just click the link and book it straight away because it makes it much easier. So I can say that, yeah, Instagram, Facebook or TikTok or whatever uh, social media platform, I think it works for for promoting it. Yeah. And Andrina, I think with nail art too, that must be really beneficial to use the social media to show your skills. But then I'm guessing, Natalie, would the app be somewhere again that 
you are getting a chance if clients don't know you and they're scrolling through and looking for the right person for them. They're getting a little insight into what you do. You're uploading some of your work. Is that something that you do at the moment? Yeah. So in general, uh, if you're a client and you download our app, you can see the list of whole beauty artists. You can see yeah. it. You can read. Uh, you can read, you know, all reviews about this artist. You can also like chat to this artist and you can look at all works that each artist has. So in general, it's only, you need only one platform to understand do you want to work with this beauty artist or do you want to book another one? You don't need to, you know, like look at Instagram and spend a lot of time to find the right person. Yeah. Uh, and this was like, you know, the main reason why I started to think about uh, this platform, how it was created, because it was like, at the beginning, it was my painful <laughs> pain. Um, yeah. And it's really difficult to find, you know, a really good uh, beauty expert uh in instagram or in tiktok or different platforms yeah uh, because you don't see reviews or sometimes you don't see their works or you can't uh, read um truly uh reviews about not sound for example about each artist yes provide exactly yeah, yeah whether it's authentic or not, whether it's actually a true review. Also, um, maybe not so much with certain things, but makeup. Sometimes you don't know if you're actually seeing a very heavily filtered image and you don't know truly what the skills are. But I'm guessing, again, in the app, you'll be seeing or get the chance to speak to the person and ask to see some work. And then you can tell if it's the authentic makeup skills or if it's Again, you sometimes see it, don't you, on social media? You can tell that it's not a real reflection of the makeup. It's been heavily edited. Yeah, you know, just because uh, from client side, the main things why you decide if you yeah. want to do your work or not, it's like our work, their works and reviews. Yeah. And we design the app that when you just open the app on the first screen, you don't need to click anywhere. You can see your works for each uh, artist and you can read reviews and you can see um you know like the rating for each beauty artist so you don't need to click a lot it's it's really easy app so it sounds as if Butera really is you're building a community and you really are trying to make it as simple and quick and stress-free as possible for everyone involved I think honestly I commend you for that because that's something that we take for granted when we find somewhere that we like but if there's a reason why we can't use it anymore or we're somewhere else and we need someone new to come up with this app's a great idea so well done congratulations oh, thank you so i think just to finish off then where can people find the app where can they look or do you have again social media handles too we have our instagram uh, we also have our website and of course you can download the app uh, in App Store and Google Play. So the application available for both platforms. Um, and yeah, we can share the link. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll put the link in the description underneath this so that everyone can just click on the link and go straight to all of those different links and they can see for themselves. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Well, thank you so much to both of you. You really did clear all of the information there because I think it's so interesting to know exactly what's out there that we might not have realised is available. So thank you so much. You're welcome, Elaine. Thank you and thanks for joining the podcast.